Yeah. Okay, Korean head coach Dean Shields were sitting here just a couple of days before the, the Carrick Rangers game. First competitive league game in a couple of weeks. I'm just wondering how the break was. Was it frustrating? Was it a timely intervention? No, I think we had a rather a game last weekend, but look, the cards fell as they as they as they did, and we just got to adapt to it and get on with it. Um, we managed to get a lot of work in in the last couple of weeks. We we worked hard on on lots of areas in regards to fitness, in regards to maybe possibly getting a couple of players back from injury, and um, we played a behind doors game and we got some more minutes in the in the players that we needed it. Um, so no, we we've we've. We've been waiting for the Carrick game now. It seems like forever, but we're glad it, we're glad it's here, and we're glad uh, we're looking forward to it. Jumping at the bit, just in terms of player availability, injury wise, how are we? Um, yes, well, Lyndon will miss out. Um, he'll miss out for the foreseeable future. We don't know how long it's going to be, so we're waiting on word on that. Um, which is really unfortunate for us. Um, but we just have to adapt, and it's opportunities for other players. Um, Jamie McGonigal slightly struggling. We're He's going to try and train tomorrow. Um, we'll see how that one develops. Um, Jamie Glacken's back from suspension. Um, we got him some minutes in the Northwest Cup. And um, I think Sam McClintock's returned fit. Kurt McLaughlin's had an issue with an ankle, but we're hoping that he's okay. Um, so there's bits and pieces and doubts surrounding a few players, but Graham Kelly will definitely miss out. Um, Aidan DeJed will definitely miss out. Um, Apart from that, we're, we're not too far away. Mm, Lyndon, obviously a big miss just for being a player and also your captain. And who takes on the responsibility in, in Lyndon's absence? Yeah, I think it's a collective. I think, obviously, we spoke about leadership and about um, about at the start of the season, us us all demanding that from, from within. Um, and I think that's what we'll see, uh, where other people will step up to the plate. But we've got we've had that from day one, I think. We've, we've got a lot of leaders, a lot of experience within the group. Um, although we are the youngest team in the league, um, we're, we're still happy at where we, we are in that regard. And it's just about um, finding a way to win games. And without Lyndon, it'll be, it won't be as easy, but we'll, we'll, ad we'll adjust and we'll find a way. <coughs> Excuse me, you talk about finding a way to win games. Uh, unfortunately, Corian did manage to do that last year against Carrick in three meetings. Two losses, one draw. Um, obviously, you, you, before your time here. Yeah. But I guess it does underline just how difficult opponents that they are. Yeah, I think you know what you're going to get from Carrick. I think every no team is going to get an easy game against Carrick, and I think that's that's evident. Um, I think that they've got players that could hurt you big time. They've recruitment and investment that they've they've put into the summer, We're bringing in big players that's that's done really well within the league. So I, I expect Carrick to come here and try and win the game. Um, and, and I think it'll be an interesting game um, but in a, a dangerous opponent and we're going to have to be on our best if we're going to get anything out of the game mm, and I guess what makes it even more dangerous is the fact that they've lost their last four so Stuart King I'm sure you know Stuart well from your time on the sidelines he will be demanding and expecting a response yeah I think that I think forms really at, at the early part of the season it's not really too much to look into in regards to form and, and where, where teams are at or how they're doing I think they'll come here with a plan the same as us and, and they'll try and get something from the game and it's up to us as you said when we're on the pitch we have to find solutions we have to find a way of beating them um, and that's where we we're hoping that the players at the top end of the pitch can deliver and I think when you play against Carrick you have to deal with long throws, corner kicks, set plays um, you've got to do all that um, really disciplined um, in that regard so there's, there's, they're a different opponent and as you said there's no easy games in this league they're, they're very dangerous you said Corian hasn't beaten them now in, in possibly two years so um, we're going to have to be really at it to, to get anything from the game mm, There's shades looking from the outside in there's almost shades of the Glenavon game here where Glenavon came into the game in, 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 in different form as well. Um, obviously, they went away with the three points that afternoon. Just wondering, given the similarities, what did you learn from that Glenavon game? Well, I think, obviously, the Glenavon game, we were on the back foot from the, from the first goal within three or four minutes, um, whether it was offside or not. Um, it put us in a position where we had to chase it from early on and give them something to defend. And I think we got to start games... as. The, at home especially we, we talk about getting the crowd behind us having a good start um, we talk in the change room about what a good start looked like and, and how we can try and force the, the opposition to defend early and put them under pressure and start with intensity uh, and play with a tempo 
uh, when teams come here and I think we did that against Larne. I was really happy with that performance in regards to the first half, the first first um, part of that game and I think it's about us being consistently now at home. Teams will know that um, they're in for a really tough challenge when they come here.